First off, God is good. God is in the center of everything that we have going on, so therefore we are blessed. But let's get into this message. Be thankful. Learn to be thankful for what you have because trying to get stuff that other people have is not going to bring you happiness. It's not going to bring you joy. We are so focused on what we don't have and that steals our joy. That is a thief. We need to understand that. Man, the simplest thing, like being able to jump up out of your bed and just go greet your family, see your kids off to school, eyesight, vision, your feet being able to operate. Those small, simple things are very big things because when you down, you're going to wish you had that. You're going to want that more than money. You'll want that more than all these accolades, all these degrees. Focus on what you have that's right in front of you because the Lord is blessing us each and every day. But we never see it because we're always focused on what we don't have. And that's stealing all our joy. It's taking our peace. It's taking our happiness. It's stealing our time because we're so work busy working, 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 grinding to the next thing and to the next thing. We accomplish one thing and we get the nice car and now we want the house. When we get the house, then we want the wife and the husband. Then when we get the wife and the husband, we want the kids. We want this. We want that. We want a new watch. Every Christmas time come up, you're expecting something. We don't need anything. Sometimes we could just put up a tree and just sit there and enjoy one another, cook a great breakfast, cook a great lunch, and just spend that time being silly together, loving one another. We don't need something for every season. And they're just making up more days and more days. National Cookie Day. National This Day. National Buy Your Friend a Gift Day. All these things like we don't have enough holidays. That stuff just makes you want and makes you be unappreciative of what you do have. But when you sit there, I'm in this point in my life where I'm trying to declutter my life and just kind of like try to be minimal as possible. Not uh, extreme minimalist, but I've been watching those type of videos and it's been kind of triggering me and pulling some, tugging some at my heart because I'm looking through my stuff and I'm like, I have more than enough. Like I need to get some of this stuff out of my, out of my life, declutter, it, remove it completely, not just put it in the attic or put it in the closet, like remove it completely from my life donate it, give it to someone who's in need because I have so many things. We have so many things and yet we always want more. Why do we want more? You know? So I just get on here sometimes to just kind of inspire someone and hopefully the message reach who it needs to reach because we got to be content with what the Lord is blessing us with all the time because he is always showing us and showing up in our life to tell us, look at that. And we're like, yeah, 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 that was cool. That was last year. That was last season. I want something new for this season. We don't need something new for every season. We need to learn to be appreciative of what the Lord continuously blessing us with and just go from there. Focus on that. Stay in your Bible. Read your daily devotionals because that has helped me. That has helped me a long way and brought me a long way because when I was first saved, I was like, I didn't understand half of the things I would be going through right now. Certain things I'm into now and I'm like, why and how like i didn't see how that that was even possible but like it's the other day like i was telling my wife i was like man i don't even miss listening to like these obscene music that i used to love and enjoy listening to it's like i don't even know what's going on with the industry i don't know what's going on with their lives and sometimes it'll sleek it'll slip in on my timeline somewhere because you know all my stuff is like informational stuff now on my timeline and it's like it'll slip in and i'll just be like I'm not trying to hear that. And I just go, next, scroll. Even when you, it's tied to a good video and the video is informational, is about building something or some type of carpentry work or something like that. If that music is tied to that, I'm like no longer interested. I'm sorry. But yeah, the Lord has worked in my mind and he's helping me to be so much better and just be a glow and a light for my family. And I enjoy this path. I enjoy trying to be simple as possible, be intentional and spend that time with my loved ones and just truly help out around the house and keep a system going. Even though I ain't write it down, just keep a system going and knowing that like I wake up, do my daily devotional, I go prepare my, my wonderful daughter's meal for the breakfast. I try to help out around the house and it's not until everyone's sitting in their spot, my wife is taking a little nap or something like that, and then I go off and I have my little time. But man, I'm just learning to just Enjoy what the Lord has blessed me with. Be thankful and just glorify him in everything that I do. And if I can help someone by sharing this video or just uplifting someone in any way possible, 
I intend to do that, you know, like getting rid of shoes and getting rid of clothes and clutter. The Lord has blessed me with so much and yet I always wanted more. So now it's time to go off of what I have already and see the beauty and what the Lord has blessed me with and pass it on to someone else. Try to be simple as possible because we don't know what the world is coming to. We don't know what's going to happen. Everybody's living this wonderful life and just enjoying and enjoying and going on with the days. But if today, God forbid, the world's to end, like we would be so stuck in ourselves and on ourselves that we would be complaining and, and just frustrated. Like, oh my gosh, one more time. Or let me get one more accolade. Or I was just about to get this award. Can you wait till that moment? I don't even know where I'm going with that, but. Yeah, I'm just learning to be simple, be intentional, enjoy the time that I have with my family. And every time I watch these videos on when this guy, he was interviewing people who baited through life and they're older up in the age. And he was like, what's one thing you regret about life? And they were like that they didn't spend enough time with their family. I don't need to get to that point in my life where I need to understand that they're telling it and they're giving it out with the wisdom. And I understand I've heard it in mostly every video and every person that's like their answer, their number one answer is spend time with their family and their loved ones. So let's do that. Let's focus on enjoying that. We prayed for it. We got it. The Lord has granted us it, but we're looking at it like it's nothing. That is a big thing. So many people want what you have. So many people would love and enjoy what you truly have from the bottom of their heart, but you're taking it for granted. I was taking it for granted. So now is the time to stop. And yes, I could get to rambling and rambling and going on and on, but that's enough for here. Next time we'll continue with some more. You know, I don't want to overbore you with too much of my story. But just be intentional, be loving and caring to others. Help someone who's in need because that brings you joy and peace. That's what I've come to find out. And not trying to do stuff for myself. Doing stuff for myself just gives me that temporary dopamine or whatever they call it. And then I'm like, oh, I want something else. So now I'm learning to stay in my Bible, stay in my Bible verses, they read my daily devotional, share. And just always see wherever I can help anyone. Even when I don't feel like it or I'm busy doing something else, I'm going to stop what I'm doing go and try to help someone out. Because chances are, life is short. I don't. I want to go out knowing that I was doing my best to help other people. And through helping others, it has helped me so much. And it has helped me to have a better perspective on life. And it's brought me this far to the point I'm out here filming, holding my hand up with a tree in the backdrop that I didn't plant here. But yeah, you know, I'm, I'm just so amazed coming out here in the morning, taking time out to make these videos and just try to let this video reach who it needs to reach. And the Lord use my platform in any way possible and just let it flow and let it go where it needs to go. Y'all have a blessed day. Be kind, be loving to others. You never know what people are going through. So always lead with positivity. And know that everything else will be taken care of because the Lord is always on your side and he's always guiding you and giving you so much wisdom, so much knowledge. And oh, man, this is so amazing. Sometimes I feel like I can just talk and talk and talk and keep going, but I don't want to bore your ears off. This is something new I'm trying and just trying to, you know, do my part any way that I can possibly. Take care. Love y'all.